In this video with the Onking, I'm going to go over some advanced Onki. This is actually an add-on we're going to be talking about called Better Search uh, that is including some new tools introduced in Onki 2.1.24 and is intended to help you find cards better in the browser. Um, Anki has a lot of cool searching tools that are very powerful uh, and a lot of them are very hard to use and this add-on makes it easier but I'm going to go over a couple things that aren't necessarily touched on in this add-on as well that may be useful such as word boundaries. Uh, if you're searching in the browser you can use a W followed by a colon like this for dog and it will match dog but not doggy or underdog. However, if you use asterisks on one side or the other, then you can match like random thing, letters and numbers and stuff before, as you can see in these examples here, if you want to pause. Another thing that's really helpful is the no combining. This one's actually not in the add-on that I'm going to show you here, but um, this is used to ignore accents. So for example, if you're looking for Uber and you have different accents, you're studying language or something like that, uh, you can use the NC followed by a colon here that will search for letters that have accents and make that easier. You can also escape double quotes in your search by using a slash like this. Uh, and then I'm not going to go into a lot of detail on this because it's extremely complicated, but it can be very useful for those of you that want to get into it. Just Google reject searching. You can see RE followed by a colon here. You can add in reject searches to find things like this. If you Google it, you, it's a huge rabbit hole. You can find a lot of really cool things. Uh, there's a lot of old searching tools that were prior to Anki 2.1.24, however, such as and, or, and the negative sign. Uh, these are really powerful. For example, you can search dog and cat to get cards that have things like this, dog trainer and cat. You can search dog or cat that will pull up a lot of cards, or you can search dog but no cat. That means you want to find cards that have the word dog but not cat. You can also use prop here. Uh, for example, you can search for something like that has an interval greater than 20 days. This is really useful. Like in our video on how to miss a day, we show how you can find all mature cards and move them to another day. I'll link that video in the description of this video because it's really helpful and uses these tools. You can also search for cards that are due tomorrow or due whenever you want. Uh, you can also use greater than signs in this. You can search for how many repetitions you've done as a card or how many times you've lapsed on it and gotten it incorrect. There's all sorts of powerful things and this add-on does help with a lot of these. And then there's also things you can look for like missing letters here. So for example, if you put an underscore, that's for one letter, whereas if you use an asterisk, it could be zero or one or two letters or more. You can also use field to search for text that's just in one field. For example, in the text field, the front of a close card, you could search for the word Mexico. Or in the extra section, you could search for the word United States. Notice that the quotes here are a little bit different. You can do them either way. And sometimes these are frustrating with the quotations and stuff like this to try and get your searches right. This add-on is going to make it a lot easier. And I'm going to show you exactly how it works so that you can find basically any card you're work looking for anytime you need it. This is a video I've been working on for a really long time to make this easier for you guys. And I realize that uh, it's been a while, but I hope that it will be really helpful for you. We just released this video here, how to find cards and tags in the browser that shows you how to use these three add-ons here. I would strongly recommend you watch this video. It's awesome. It has a lot of very useful tools, especially for those using pre-made decks that have a lot of tags. We're actually going to be talking about this browser search box add-on because this is actually the better search add-on. It's been updated. A huge thank you to the user that um, made this for us. They also made this extended tag out edit dialog and they've made a lot of other very useful add-ons. I'm also going to recommend this video on how to use custom filtered decks because the better you get at searching, the easier it is to make custom filtered decks and that's really handy. And I'm going to link both of those videos and this Anki manual in the description of this video. The Anki manual here, you can scroll down and click searching. This is basically where I did all my research to learn all of this stuff and I still refer to this quite a bit. But this better search add-on will hopefully make it so that you have to refer to this far, far less. Now I'm going to go over here into Anki and show you one quick thing. I just talk, talked about how you can add or or the minus signs and things like that to refine your searches. Let's say you want to find all cards in my Onking deck here that are suspended. Well, if you click suspended along the sidebar here, you'll notice it just switches the search to suspended. However, if you hold the command or control key, then it adds that search term in, and so you can add multiple search terms. Another option is if you hold the command or control key and the alt key or the option key on a Mac, then it adds a minus sign in front of it. So now we're looking at everything in the deck that is not suspended. 
Another option is to hold down the shift key and it will do or. So if we want to find out all cards in the Onking deck and my classes deck, I'm gonna hold down shift key and click classes. Then it adds an or sign there and you get both. So those are just a few couple keys to remember. Uh, I find them very helpful at times. Now the other key combination I'm gonna teach you, I'm actually gonna turn on a little device here that's gonna show you what I'm doing. I'm going to hold down command T and then I'm going to tap S. And now it pulls up, this is the better search dialog. You actually can get to it just by clicking on this here. But I wanted to show you how to do that fancy thing. Again, I'm gonna show you one more time. I'm gonna go Command T and then S, and it's gonna pull that up. And the reason I wanted to show you this is because add-on people can use this when they're making add-ons, because it allows them to make far, far, far more shortcuts. It's a lot easier. I'm gonna go into the config here and show you exactly what this looks like so you can use it for yourself. That's the shortcut right there. You can see it is control T comma S. So that's why I'm on a Mac here. I did command T and then I hit S. You can see it's used in other shortcuts in this add-on as well. Now you can go through and read this whole config. I'm not gonna go into it. It's very customizable, it's awesome. I'm actually using pretty much all of the defaults except for this right here. I like to look for closed cards a lot and I use this so I set that to false. Um, but you can set all of these, if you, depending on which ones you don't wanna use, you can set those to true or false. Uh, this is also really important here just to note the XX and the all. I showed that in that other video on the browser search box add-on back when it was originally made. That basically pulls up a search dialog for the tags and decks here. If you type in XX, uh, you can see that that pops this up and then you can search for a tag. Um, so this add-on still does that, which is awesome, but it also does even more. And I'm gonna show you how that works. So now we can go into, let's say we wanna look in this deck here. And, or I'll actually go into my deck here and we're gonna, this is the cards that I've made. I'm gonna click on this search dialog button and let's see if we can't find cards that I made from a certain time period. So we'll go to January to March and I'm gonna click January 1st to March 2nd. So we want all cards that were made or added during that time period. You can see that it auto fills in the information there. I click okay and you can see everything pops up there. So that's one way to refine it. Now let's go back in here. Let me go to the search dialog. You can add as many refining things as you want to. So I'm gonna hit enter. For example, let's go into card properties. We wanna find all cards that have an interval greater than, you see this is 10, here's the default, but you're actually going to need to enter a number when you click on it. I'm gonna do 21. I wanna find all cards that are mature in my deck. You can see there's quite a bit, but there's also a lot that are suspended. So let's go back in here and let's add, I'm gonna hit enter and add a new line here. I'm gonna go to card state and We'll do suspended, but I want to find all cards that are not suspended that are still mature. So I'm actually going to check this box here to prepend the search with a minus sign. Uh, so now we're going to find cards that are not suspended, and that's how that works. Now, uh, the other thing that I search for a lot of times, you can see closed cards. These are all closed one. Uh, if we scroll down far enough, there we go. There's the closed two and three cards. This is why I set this one to false because when I'm searching, I like to type in card one so that it only searches for the first close. You could also search for card two. Um, otherwise, that card will pull up a different dialogue uh, for the note type cards here and, and stuff like that. So it can be kind of confusing. Now, there's other cool things we can do. I'm gonna delete this search. Uh, you could actually go back and search through your old search history if you wanted to and see what kinds of things you've searched for recently. Um, and another useful thing that I know a lot of you will use, if I click on note type field here, we're gonna search in my note type, I'm gonna click okay, and it's gonna actually search within one of these. So if I wanted to see in this field here, lecture notes, whenever I searched for a certain term, see that it adds two asterisks here? It's because uh, if you just searched, if I delete those, and type test, it's gonna search for cards where that field has exactly test, no other text whatsoever. But if I wanted to find cards that had the word test in the lecture notes field, then I would just insert it in between those two asterisks, click OK, and you can see it pulls that up. Now I'm gonna go back and do this again, just for fun. Let's say we wanna go back in here and you wanna find all cards where you've put something in that field, but it doesn't need to be anything specific. So I wanna find a card where I've put information into this missed questions field. Uh, rather than putting any text in here, I'm going to add an underscore and click OK. And you can see now it pulls up the 2000 cards where I have added something to that field. So that's another really, really handy thing. Now, many of you have probably used this filter button here, which is cool. It allows you to, you know, click that you've added things today or, you know, add decks, whatever. But every time you do it, it adds a new thing. The nice thing about this search dialog here 
is that this filter button acts the same as this filter button, so you can still use it, but it's going to add a new search term instead, so you can add multiple search terms. And we hope that this will make it so it's way, way, way easier for you to use, to create searches, and stuff like that. Although it is important that you realize sometimes you'll need to add parentheses. So for example, if we wanted to look in this deck, or uh, we wanted to add another deck, let's do this deck, uh, we'll do on king card types, that is new. You may want to play around with adding parentheses around these terms. So I'm saying I want to find stuff that is in these two that is new. Uh, it's just kind of like a math equation. And sometimes it'll take a little bit of time to play around with that. You can see that's kind of what it looks like. Um, so mess around with the settings. There's lots of cool things. We're actually working on updating this cheat sheet here so that it'll have even more information for you so that you never actually have to refer back to the Anki manual. Um, uh, but right now it does have all the things that you can type into the search bar here. Uh, you can try all of these as you want. So for example, if we click right here and I type field, you'll see it'll pull up the field dialog. Um, you can type in is pull up that dialog. All sorts of really cool things. And we're going to be adding more. There are more features. For example, I'll mention this one just for fun. We go to date rated and, and we want cards that were done in the last week. This is something we don't have in the add-on yet, but those are cards rated in the last week. So five, if you add a colon and add another one after it, that's cards that I rated one or again in the last week. So you can do really fancy searches like that. Uh, like I said, it's a big rabbit hole. If you want to get more into it, head over to the Anki manual here and search more. Uh, there's lots of stuff. And then as I mentioned early on, uh, if you Google reject searching, it gets really crazy. There's all sorts of awesome things you can search for by adding plus signs and periods and stuff. And it's very powerful. But I think that this will cover the majority of your needs. Um, that as well as this typing in XX to pull up the search bar for the sidebar. Those are the two things I use the most often. I hope this was helpful. And again, a huge thank you to those that were involved in creating these add-ons to make your lives easier. Thanks for learning with The On King. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel here as well as follow us on Facebook, Instagram, or Patreon. That is at On King Med. Also feel free to reach out via email or check out our website, onkingmed.com, for more tips and tricks.